don't go under go chemotherapy. But she didn't have the money, so she had to proceed to me. Now look at her condition within three months. Okay? How fast could we do it? With a natural approach, without chemotherapy. But I don't discount chemotherapy. Then I go ahead. But I can still treat them with or without chemotherapy. Oh, this is a case of psoriasis for 10 years. The whole body has psoriasis, but it totally cleared within three months. It's very, very clear. It's just a problem, no. Problem of it. It's very, very clear, very, very white and so on. I don't know what we can do with this. <coughs> Oh, uh, this is a case of uh, mitral stenosis. She was a patient of a uh, heart center. She was told she had to undergo uh, a heart repair, okay? Uh, you, what you call the valvular repair. And it was uh, very expensive, so they, they didn't have the money. By the time, uh, no, that was 2009, June. By 2000, by February, she had uh, a stroke. There was a clot in her heart, it went to the brain. So she had a stroke. So she was comatose for 10 months, or for 10, week, uh, 10 days, and then she was brought to the heart center. The heart center says, there's nothing that they can do anymore. She has to be treated by the Lord. So they, they went home, and she was on an empty tube, okay? Nasogastric tube, she was being fed there. So the, the brother came to my clinic, get the stencil enhancing RCV, and put that in the engine tube, okay? And gave her 12 eggs a day, four, 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 and plenty of bone marrow. Within one week, she started to walk. In two weeks time, she came to my clinic and she sang in the clinic. Now, this is Joven Atienza. Joven says, uh, uh, I treated him about 2007, suffering from epilepsy for five years until he developed Subacute sclerosing paraencephalitis, SSPE. There is no treatment for this disease condition throughout the world. He could hardly speak, he could not walk, he was to be carried, and then uh, <clears throat> his brain became very small. See, he was 16 years old, the night he did, and his brain became very small, the brain of a 17 years old. And when he talks, he talks like a like that, no? So, so she was brought. He was brought to the Manila, uh, Manila doctor's hospital. The verdict of the hospital is he would die. He was transferred to the Chinese General Hospital. The verdict of the hospital is that he would die. There's no treatment throughout the world, right? So ultimately, the mother texted all the relatives, "Please just pray for my son because according to the best doctor, she the hospital, he would die." So. Uh, and Alkan said, bring him to Dr. Navarro, okay? So the mother talked to Joven, 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 I'm going to bring you to Dr. Navarro. So Joven answered in a stuttered voice. He said, mommy, you have brought me to the best hospitals here. Dr. Navarro is an unknown doctor. Why did he spend when you don't even know him? How sure are you? Mommy, I'm already prepared to meet the Lord. So he was the only son, he's the only son. And he said that to his mommy. So his mother turned around and began to cry and cry. But ultimately he was able to convince Joven. Joven was brought to my clinic. I gave him the RCV. Within one week he started to walk. And to speak straight, within one month, that is the picture of Joven. Very, very clean skin and so on. And Joven graduated, he went. And then he sang during the graduation. And until now, he's very healthy. He just graduated. Okay. That was high school then. Okay.